Hey guys welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new here for this video i am just doing my everyday makeup routine i posted on instagram asking you guys what type of content and um just video ideas you guys would like for me to do and a vlog you guys were interested in my everyday makeup routine so that's what we're doing today and i'm just gonna go through all the things that i use for pretty much my everyday makeup routine now keep in mind i don't really wear makeup every single day because i do nanny and so a lot of those days i'm just lazy and just wear comfy stuff and don't do my makeup when i do my makeup for the weekends and just like some days during the weekend stuff this is just gonna be pretty much what i do there is like a few different things i'll use every now and then and i'll show you guys those but for the most part this is my pretty much everyday makeup routine so Let's just get into it. Before I do my makeup, I always pin my hair back and I use these little clips. I got them from, I think Ulta, but don't say anything, they don't match. I don't have the two same colors. I'm using my pink and my white one because I just cannot find my other ones. So usually I'll literally just put my hair like that and then before I do anything, I start with my Drunk Elephant Polypeptide Moisturizer. I washed my face this morning and moisturized, so I usually throw that on and then I go in with my Glow Screen by Super Goo. This stuff is the best. It's my holy girl. I don't think I'll ever change from this stuff. And then I'll go in and mix my Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops just to give myself some more color. So that's what I first do. So then once I have it on my hand, I just mix it together and make whatever people like to say a skincare smoothie, I guess. I'll literally just like put it on my face like that and then I'm just gonna rub it in. And then sometimes I put a little too much of these. It's so hard to know like the right amount, um, but it all ends up like blending out really nicely in the end. Once I do that, I usually go in with my concealer, but I've been changing that up because I don't always love when my under eyes are super bright, which I don't know if anyone else is the same way with that, but sometimes I just don't like that brightness under my eyes. So I'll show you guys what I would normally use and then what I've been using. If I use concealer, this is the concealer I use. It's the Power Flex Tarte by the Sea Concealer. I love this concealer. The reason why I started using this is because I used to love my Tarte Shape Tape, but then I realized how like dehydrating and dry it was and I just was not a fan of that. So then I found this one and this is like their clean skincare line or whatever. This one's very good if you like like a pretty coveraged concealer, but sometimes I just don't want that. So what I've been using, which is funny, is just my Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. I'll literally just put this like right here, which is probably so odd, but that's just what I've been doing. I'm not a makeup guru or anything like that, but that's just what's been working for me. And then... I just blend it out with my sponge. And then once I have that blended, I usually go in with my contour. Um, sometimes I'll do powder, just bronzer, but I like to just do a lot of cream products sometimes and set with powder. That's just kind of what I've been doing and I love it. But this brand, like let me put you guys on, this Merit brand, love if they would sponsor me. This brand is amazing. This is what the little contour stick I use looks like. Um, but then I'll literally just put some on my sponge because I used to like just put it directly on my face and it just kind of was like streaky and muddy looking. So I've just started putting it on the sponge and I will just put it all up my, just kind of like go, I go up motions. Um, I never put it down here cause it just looks very muddy. So I'm gonna put that on both sides of my face really quick. Okay, and then once that is done and I look way more bronzy and glowy, I'll show you the three blushes I go back and forth between. My first one that I first started using was this Huda Beauty. This one is so pretty. I have it in the shade Proud Pink. And then I have the Rare Beauty blush. 
in the shade happy and i love this one as well and i also have the drink elephant rosy drop this is the other thing i will go between but i think today i'm feeling the rare beauty one for some reason for that what i like to do is i literally just like put one dot on my cheeks and it just goes such a long way so i'm just gonna blend that really quick Once that is blended, I usually will go in with powder. So I've always used the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. I've probably had this palette, I'm not even kidding, two years, maybe three. I've had it for a long time and this palette is my holy grail. I'll always use this. So I need to really get a refill on it soon because like a lot of my shades are disappearing, which is very sad because it's expensive, but okay but this is what it looks like it's literally beat up recently i've been trying the powder puff trend so i got these little powder puffs off of amazon i'm not sure where i put the rest of the pack of these but they are awesome so i just dip it in the like middle light shade and then i'll put it in like the peachy shade and i just go under my eyes and i just go just set all right there like do you see the difference like that just made between shiny and not it's so good. So I'm going to put that on the rest of my face and then I'll be back. Okay, so once I am done putting that on, I usually will go in with the powdered bronzer in this palette as well. But today I don't think I'm going to. Um, so when I don't, I usually just go in with blush. I will show you guys my holy grail, but it's the Dior blush, but it's the shade 001 Pink. So I just literally will put it on this little brush. I'm Morphe by Ariel Brush Collab. I have the whole brush set from them and I love them. I just love blush, guys. I put it everywhere. Also, I was going to mention before I forget, if I don't use this sometimes for setting, I use my my charlotte tilbury powder airbrush flawless finish powder and i have it in the shade two medium i think is what the shade is and it just looks like this once i'm done with that i will go in and curl my eyelashes so i'm gonna do that really quick and then once i have them curled um i don't always do this step and i don't think i'm gonna do it today i just don't really feel like it but sometimes if i just want like a longer lash a more full lash i will go in with the urban decay subversion thicker longer bolder volumizing lash primer and it looks like this but i'm not going to use it today so go in after that with my thrive liquid lash extensions mascara i have been using this for probably a year and a half now and i will continue to use this mascara i'm gonna go ahead and throw this in my lashes and then i'll be back Okay, and then once I am done with putting the mascara on, I get like some stuff all around my lids, sometimes underneath or whatever, some like usually kind of goes everywhere. So I just get a Q-tip and I just kind of wipe all the excess off. After that, I just go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Champagne Eyes to Mesmerize. But I'll go in with this and I'll just use it as highlighter. It's for an eye, it's like for eyeshadow and stuff and I use it for that too, but I just love it as a highlighter. So I just literally will put it like right on my nose and blend it and then I just pop it on my inner corner. Just like that. And it's like the subtlest, prettiest highlighter. I just love it so much. That's pretty much it for the most part. When I do a lip, um, I'll show you the products that I would like choose from. So these are like the three that I usually will pick from. Let me take these out really quick. I don't really like lipstick just because I like my lips to kind of just look like the same color. I don't know, I just really like it on me. So the three that I'll usually choose from is either my D or Lip Glow Oil, which this stuff is so good. I don't know why some people say that it's not good and then some people say that they love it, but I love it. But the shade I have is 007 Raspberry. I'll either do that or I'll do the Summer Fridays but Lip Butter Balm. And I have it in the vanilla beige, which is kind of like a tinted brown, which I love. And then I also have it in just the regular vanilla. And it's the same thing. And these three are just my holy girls. But today, I think I'm just going to go in with the Dior Lip Oil. It's 
it just leaves the sheerest little pink tint and I just think it's so pretty and I love it so much it's so good my makeup routine is so simple it's literally the simplest thing it's all those products I um will have linked below I'm also going to um put the names of the products where I showed them so that you guys know what they are so that you can go purchase them yourself because they're so good and I just love my makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you guys try out any of the products I use and let me know what you think of them. Um, I would love to hear y'all's opinions on them as well. I love you guys so much and I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did I would appreciate it if you liked and subscribed and hit the bell for notifications and I will see you guys back in my next video. Bye guys.